Uh, this is a uh, three and a half pound uh, piece of pork. Uh, I put it in the oven. Uh, I just took it out. Uh, basically, I just put salt and, salt and um, paprika uh, on the top and the bottom. Um, and then I heated the oven up to 550. Yes, I know, that's a crazy temperature, 550. And um, I, I kept it at 550 for 15 minutes, and then I dropped the temperature down to 275. And the uh, I left it at 275 for an hour and a half. Originally, I had this set for two hours, but I wanted to check and see maybe if it was done. One of the problems with meat is that people tend to overcook it at too high of a temperature for too long of a time. Uh, I cut this in two places. This thing is, is, is incredibly juicy. It's done. I mean, it's done. I mean, it's not raw. It, it's cooked. It's cooked. Let's see if I can get this. This thing, this thing is cooked. It's, it's fine. I cut it in two places to check and see. And as you can see here, it's you know, still got a lot of moisture, a lot of juice in it. Um, this is a three and a half pound uh, piece of pork. It is approximately, uh, what is this? It's a nine inches long. It's between four and five inches wide. And I already know it's about three inches tall. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't do anything else. I didn't do anything else. I put salt and paprika on the top and the bottom. I put it in a, uh, uh, let me do a little flimsy, you know, flimsy aluminum pan. And I have a, a sheet of aluminum, heavy-duty aluminum foil as a, as a liner. This is the juice that came out of it. Oh, and I had put some olive oil, too. But that's basically it. And this thing is, as you can see, there's still... There's still juice coming out of here but this is done I mean it's not raw or anything this is this has been cooked uh, but it's still moist on the inside so uh, yeah this is a better look at it but yeah this looks like it came out just fine and I literally didn't do a damn thing to it except throw it in the oven so um, so yeah so 15 minutes at uh, at 550 uh, and you know the smoke started to come out of the uh, <laughs> the oven and then I dropped it down for uh, to 275 Fahrenheit for uh, an hour and a half, and we're done. And uh, this I'm probably going to put in a bowl. Uh, I might use it for my scrambled eggs because it's uh, I put olive oil in addition to the salt and the, and the paprika. So uh, that is that. I give it a shot and enjoy. Okay, so obviously I've uh, just had dinner. Um, as you can see. This is, it's done. I mean, it's, uh, it was very moist. It's the most moist pork I've ever had. It was the most, mo the most moist pork I've ever had. You can see from here, right here, what the meat looks like. It's, I mean, it's cooked. It's cooked. And actually, the, uh, the color on the uh, cell phone video cam is uh, coming out quite more nicely than uh, uh, what I have here in front of me. I mean, looking at the uh, piece of pork directly. Uh, the colors here are a lot more vibrant, but uh, you get the point. I mean, you see it's glistening. I mean, there's there's moisture. This this is a, this this meat is moist, and um, it's been cooked. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. And uh, so yeah, so I just had uh, dinner, and this is going to last a while. This is a three and a half pound piece of pork roast, uh, and the rule that a rule of thumb that I had was that you put it in for it's thirty minutes for every pound. I think. Only in this case, uh, I'd be, well, yeah, it came out, yeah, sort of, yeah, so yeah, actually, yeah, no, that's exactly how long I did it. Three and a half pounds. I had it on for an uh, hour and a half at 275, and before that, uh, for 15 minutes at 550, which is where the outside got caramelized. But yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, people cook meat at too high of a temperature, they dry it out. And I think that's one of the problems that um, I've been having in the past with. Um, with turkey. You know, they say to cook it at 350, and I tried 325, and I think even that's too high for turkey. Uh, I think that's the, the big problem with meat, why it's always dry, why at Thanksgiving people are always complain. You cook it at too high of a temperature. Everybody's worried about, you know, diseases and stuff, and it's like, you know, that's not going to happen. I mean, at 275, you know, for a couple hours, anything that was there is dead. So, yeah, so this is great. It turned out fantastic. Good luck.